What is up guys? Tony Tillman back again with another video. So today is a little bit different. It's not a food review. Uh, about two weeks ago, a subscriber of mine who's been with me for years, because uh, she referenced my workout videos, which I haven't done a workout video in like five years, I think. So uh, she asked if uh, I could do a video on what kind of exercises I'm doing in quarantine, you know, during the lockdown to keep muscle on and to even get stronger. So, today I'm just going to be doing it one arm isolation style exercises because a couple days ago I kind of hurt my uh, right arm. So, I'm going to show you everything with my left, even though my right side is my dominant side. But, uh, so today I'm going to show you back and shoulder exercises and the first one I do just to get things warmed up is just a modified bent row. So it's modified because it's not a true bent row because with a bent row you want your shoulder to come towards the ceiling and I can't get that bent over to do that and it's not a straight lateral row because I'm not pulling this way so it's kind of in between and this is just a, a exercise I used to warm up so it just gets my shoulder moving and it gets the arm you know the blood flowing in the arm so this is basically what I do and I know you can't see the bottom of it but just focus on the shoulder and I just pull up and back up and back up and back and like I said that is gonna target the delt and part of the lat a little bit of the lat but mostly the delt and then after that while my delt is getting warmed up I will do a the same movement basically but instead of just pulling straight back what I do is I do a 45 degree external rotation to hit the rear delt. So let me see if I can back up and show you this. So we start in the same position, arm fully extended and in a neutral position, and then you pull and then rotate. Pull and rotate, and then on the downward portion of the movement, you move back to a neutral position. So, just like that. And that is to specifically target the rear delt. And a lot of people ignore the rear delt because you can't really see it. So it's just like, you know, you can't see it. So what's the point? The point is to get that fully rounded shoulder look. And you can't do that with a flat back or a rear delt. So then to hit the lateral head of the delt what I'll do is kind of like a lateral raise but with a bent arm so I'm hitting more of the corner so it's activating both the front and the lateral delt so this is what I mean by bent so my arm is at a 90 degree position and then I just raise until my elbow is at an even level with my shoulder. So, let me show you that again. See, the arm is, the elbow is level with the shoulder and it's not going above it because then you're activating the tricep and that's not what you want. You want to activate the delt. And then, after that, I'll finish, usually finish off the workout with just a overhead press and I'll mix it up between a neutral grip, which is just this, and doing it with a, a rotation. So, something like this. You see the difference? Straight up, rotation. So with the neutral grip, you're specifically targeting the anterior or the front delt. When you add the rotation in, you're activating more of the lateral delt or side delt. 
So with the primary movement of the, the rotation, you're starting the movement with the front delt and then you're moving the pressure or, you know, with the weight on the lateral delt. And that's pretty much, you know, what I do for shoulders and back to uh, stay in shape. And uh, if you guys want to see more of these, just let me know and I will come up with some more ideas. And I will see you guys in the next review.